Hi everyone! This video is about this cute daisy flower. Um, this tutorial is from our series of uh, small short tutorials uh, using absolutely um, nice but absolutely easy uh, petal shaped templates. So I'll show how to make this one. We have templates in different sizes and for each flower you use only one size template um, so the bigger size you get um, I mean the, the template the bigger size of template you use the bigger flower will be um, I use now the one which is five inches um, big and I use seven of petals and I'll, I'll assemble the flower now. So what you need to do first is to find the, the center of the petal. This way you can go from the very beginning you can go with just one and you need to break the fiber of the paper in the center to make it softer. Um, I use uh, this cardstock is 140 GSM. You can go with any up to 210 GSM and the the minimum I would recommend is uh, 120 um, almost for any flower size but the the soft paper you use the more fragile corn uh, ends of this um, petals will be so uh, you will damage flowers easy so there's nothing about keeping the shape I would say so 120 would would work fine but I would start uh, making flowers from at least 140 GSM papers um, so you break the fiber here uh, you will even feel um, feel something Feel this paper movement, and you'll hear the sound, the funny sound from uh, from the paper in here. Um, it will help you to uh, glue the battle, the bottom of the battle, uh, really fast and nice, and absolutely in the right shape uh, when you do this. So I apply just a bit glue into here, and you see, I make just like for the ice cream you see that's what I do so nothing visible at the ups, at, at this tip so nothing comes through so that's nice corner and this is absolutely right positioning of your petal if you go if you overlap these two sides of the petal too much you'll narrow your petal so you will need to use more petals to assemble one flower if you overlap not enough like this the petal um, size will be pretty wide so you will you will need about maybe five or six of them to assemble one flower but if you go somewhere in between like this you will need exactly seven petals to build one flower you see here papers of lapping almost at 90 degrees and this tip tipsy corner uh, has absolutely tiny hole just maybe for the regular needle size so again we break the fiber we overlap and glue and Leave it aside, break the fiber at the middle. That's it. If you have any glue excess after you press everything, just wipe it off like using your fingertips. Um, soften the petal and glue and the last one and that's it do not forget 
to clean petals in here just because this part may be visible we don't want it to be dirty and uh, more nice so now we need to assemble our daisy we apply just a little bit of glue right to the side of the petal and we stick another one it's better to do this right on the surface not do not hold it just press it here where the glue is so you see that's the reason why you should really be absolutely right in placing the uh, in applying the hot glue it should be not on top of the panel not on the bottom side of it but just exactly at this side because that's the only place where the petals touch each other and one more thing to pay attention to is you see this part so if you touch it i see that petals height from the surface is even no one is higher or lower they are absolutely they lay on the surface and they are absolutely the same height and they touch each other exactly with the uh, edges of the panel here we go again so you need to watch this part so these tips must touch each other and this part the side the edge of the side and of course apply glue right to the side of the petal well actually you you won't ruin the flower you will assemble a flower if you do not watch here and here and the side but the flower will be ugly so my video is uh, to help you to think about all these tiny tips and tricks to make really perfect uh, flower even when you use absolutely absolutely easy absolutely absolutely easy technique and absolutely um, um, just regular shape of the battle and petal number seven i go the same way you see how perfectly fitting they all are in, in in one circle shape you see just because i was absolutely careful with um making this forming this cone so right seven petals are used let it cool down and once you're confident the glue is really not hot anymore so the all seven petals are held tightly you just carefully add a bit glue again to the side and do all the same again so this this way so we finished the circle for our daisy press and hold a bit i would recommend you see the backing is absolutely nice but um, i wouldn't leave it like this especially for those who plan to uh, if you want to hang this flower because normally i stick this flower using a a tiny bit of uh, blue tack or any sticky uh, sticky tape or sticky mass I place it to here to kind of middle of the battle and place uh, and press to the wall but um, I'll show you how to make the flower with a tiny loop at the back so you can hang it so take a small circle which is well, it can be in any size and this is three inches you can go wider um, you can go smaller whichever you you want so I add just a tiny loop I apply some glue right into here um, and 
so I place it this way so it touches each petal and especially this one where my loop is and I hold my finger underneath and press here but just not much otherwise you, the shape of this um, thread of my loop will be visible from the front so be very gentle here so now you cover this ugly backing and you got the loop to hang your flower you see you can put uh, you can stamp as well obviously before gluing you can stamp some um, some business details um, onto the backing of your flower so that's kind of your business card um, and now we need just to add a center and I'll use this one you can find the video um, using the link in this tutorial how to make these cute spiky centers we have a free video on our YouTube channel so you just cut these using uh, cut papers uh, using regular scissors or Martha Stewart ones Martha, Martha Stewart um, French scissors like this so it ha they have uh, five blades and then you roll and glue this uh, into one knob and then you make it more spiky like this and you add glue into the bottom of it um, you can add even more glue just to be sure that this center sits perfectly and securely um, and press and let it go down so you see uh, this part is visible so that's the reason why you should care of um, edges touching each other, each other really nicely and this part is also visible so you need th that's the reason why you need to care about uh, about um, uh, really nice uh, application of your hot glue so it's not visible and this part is visible so I prefer to cover this with a base circle and especially if it contains my business details and um, So here we go with two cute daisies you can make just in minutes using this simple shape flower petal uh, in size in size of four um, or five inches long if you go with just So here we go with these two cute daisies. Make your own and show us your photos. Uh, show us photos on Instagram or Facebook page and tag us um, at Sydney Paper Flowers. These are two cute daisies we made using our simple shape panel. Um, you can make your own and tag us on Instagram in Paper Pro Tutorials, show us your flowers. <laughs>